you know, Bangladesh is the most densely populated country in the world. We are a very small country, but the population density is more than 3,000 per square mile. So uh, we always have shortage of food. We have a lot of fresh waters in Bangladesh. We have more than 260 fresh water species. We have 475 marine species. So we get a lot of fish from, from our waters. We are producing now 4.2 million fish per year. And so aquaculture and, the, and fisheries contributes 3.5% to the GDP of the country. And about 11 million people are partially or completely engaged in fishing and fisheries activities in Bangladesh. While the goal of the project is to, uh, to improve productivity of Ruho, one of the most important agriculture species in Bangladesh. It is the most profitable agriculture species in Bangladesh. And it's also one of the major fish produced worldwide. It's one of the top ten in terms of production volume for aquaculture species worldwide. Our uh, goal is to set the ground for future research. We have a two-dimensional work for this project. One in Bangladesh, we have done a comprehensive survey on the importance of ruho in, the, in our economy, livelihood and nutrition of the farming communities. Before the comprehensive survey, we didn't know actually what role it, ruho actually plays to the farming communities. We were able to understand the needs of Bangladeshi farmers better so that we can provide them uh, much needed information. And the another dimension of the project is the whole genome sequencing and development SNP markers, which is being done here at MSU. SNPs are single nucleotide polymorphisms. And they are variations that occur at a specific location of a DNA molecule. So by associating these markers with important agricultural traits, we can select for these better performing individuals. Uh, with that, we can increase the productivity of food. But genetic markers are important because they allow us to be able to detect things that we, ne we can't necessarily see by eye. That will help guide us as to how we can improve fish, not just with respect to growth that we will produce in 2020, but with respect to these other important characteristics that will allow the fish to keep producing in a changing environment. We have so far obtained the highest quality genome sequence data from this project. So that is our, I mean, the most important achievement of the project. Uh, you know, uh, Ruhu is not a Bang Bangladeshi species only. It is also available in India, Pakistan, Myanmar, even in Thailand. Our genome sequence data will be made available in the gene bank. So anybody can use this information and can exploit this information to improve the species for aquaculture.